everyone my name is Sumi welcome to my channel and I'm here to show you how I created this makeup look I have used a mustard yellow eyeshadow with a khaki green color and have done a bold eyeliner so stay tuned to see how I have created this look first of all I'm going to start by using Vaseline to hydrate my lips this will also help me in prepping it for lipstick application later on and then I'm going to use this Clinique ID moisturizer and this comes as a base and also a cartridge so you can choose your base depending on your skin type and also choose a cartridge which has active concentrate and I'm going to use this as a moisturizer and also a primer and I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in orange and I'm applying it all around my mouth area where I have hyperpigmentation and I'm just making sure I blend it all really well and then for the next step I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in 06 sand beige and I have pumped out a little product in a palette and I'm using a stippling brush to apply it all over my face I really like using this stippling brush this is from Beauty Bay I feel like it gives a um, really nice airbrush finish I'm just making sure I apply it all over my face in an even coat Once that is done, I'm taking my Real Technique sponge and just dabbing my face with it. This will make sure any harsh brush lines are not seen and they get blended really well. Next, I'm taking this Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Concealer in Neutralizer and applying it under my eyes. bridge of my nose and on my forehead using the same beauty sponge as before I'm just blending the products really well and I'm using the NYX HD finishing powder and just setting the base Now I'm taking the Revolution Mega Bronzer in O2 Warm and I'm going to bronze up my face so I'm just applying it under my cheekbones on the side of my forehead and also my jawline I'm dragging it a little bit down so that it doesn't look like a harsh line just underneath my jawline I like to go really heavy handed with my bronzer as you can see and then I'm using this number 7 blush in spice and applying it on the apples of my cheek and then pulling it a little upwards as well. Then taking the Coty Airspun Loose Face Powder I'm just applying it underneath my cheekbones to bake that area. This will help in making that contour really sharp. And then I'm baking underneath my eyes as well, just to set it in place and to make that area brighter. And then I'm dusting it off immediately as I don't want it to get really dry. And then I'm brushing my eyebrows, prepping it for the eyebrow application. And I'm using my trusted collection eyebrow kit in brunette and using the benefit brush to apply it I'm just making sure I brush the eyebrow hairs as often as possible to spread the products evenly and then I'm using a clear mascara to set all the hairs in place now I'm taking the NYX eyeshadow base and applying it all over my eyelid in preparation for eyeshadow application and 
and I'm using a flat brush and using the NYX HD finishing powder and I'm setting that base in place and I'm using the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Sylvia Gani and this is how the eyeshadow palette looks like and I'm taking the shade S Club first and applying it on my crease area. And as you can see, I'm using the edge of my tube to make sure I get a really sharp line. You can also use a cello tape. Alternatively, you can always do your eyes before you do your base. Using this technique makes sure I get a really nice sharp line at the edge of my eyes. And next I'm taking the shade Bare and just going over the outer edge of my eye making that area dark and I'm just building up the product slowly and making it more intense I'm just making sure I blend the shades really well so that there are no harsh lines I'm taking a concealer and using the concealer to do a cut crease I'm trying to get a crisp line on my crease area and once that is done I'm taking the shade Chanel and just placing it in the inner corner of the cut crease I really hope that's how it's pronounced and I'm slowly bringing it towards the middle of my eyelid and now taking the shade Hazel I'm just placing it from the middle of the eyelid towards the end just making sure both the shades get blended really well and there is a transition between both the shades and I'm just darkening up the outer edge of my eyelid using the shade bare now I'm just bringing all the same colors over to my lower lash line and just smoking it out a little bit and now taking the shade opal I'm just placing it in the inner corner of my eyelid this will give a nice pop of brightness over there and once that is done I apply my eyeliner this is the Inlot number 77 eyeliner and then I'm getting rid of the bake from underneath my cheekbones I'm using this revolution contour and glow palette I'm taking both the highlighter shades and applying it on the highest point of my face so on top of my cheekbones on the bridge of my nose and also my forehead once I finished doing that I felt I could make my lower lash line even more smokier so I'm taking the darker shade which is unapologetic from the same palette and mixing it a little bit with bare and I'm applying it on my lower lash line I felt it looked really nice to have a really strong smoky lower lash line once that is done I'm just setting my whole face using the revolution fixing spray I'm just waiting for it to dry taking this liquid lipstick from flower beauty first of all outlining my lips and then I'm just going to use it to fill in as well And I'm using a brush to make sure the outline of my lips are really nice and sharp and this is the finished look I really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do like share subscribe and comment down below also press the bell icon to get notified of whenever I post and follow me on my Instagram channel I'll see you guys next time bye guys